सो हाई डियर वर्गो अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टैरो एंड दिस इज अ जनरल लव रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द वर्गो सन मून विनस राइजिंग कीप इन माइंड दिस इज जनरल इट माइट और माइट नॉट रेजोनेट विद यू एट द फर्स्ट प्लेस द सेकेंड थिंग दिस इज अ रीडिंग फ्रॉम टू डेट इज द नेक्स्ट सेवेंटी टू आवर्स एंड दिस इज नॉट वैलिड फॉर दोज हु आर इन नो कॉन्टेक्ट एट ऑल दिस इज वैलिड फॉर दोज ओनली हु आर इन कॉन्टेक्ट और रिलेशनशिप सिचुएशनशिप और यू गैज आर मैरिड एंड दिस रीडिंग इज वैलिड फॉर एवरी ट्वेल्व साइन सो इट्स यू वर्स इज एवरी ट्वेल्व साइन ओके Let's start your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now at this present moment Virgo let's see what's happening We have the wheel of fortune the two of swords and the hermit card and the bottom of the deck is the empress okay so someone is trying to surrender to the divine surrender to the universe in this connection because they feel like okay going with the flow is the only solution to the problem that you guys are facing in the situation the thing the connection between you guys is up in the air somewhere deep down there on the cross roads regarding the situation uh, should they let it go should they move on should they uh, keep holding on to you what should they do so that's why abago i feel this person is uh, feeling stuck in the situation very conflicted in the situation not able to see the clear picture of the future between you and them that's why they feel like they should surrender and they should just uh, uh give you a lot of time and space to think about it and give themselves uh, also the lot, like uh, the time and space to think about the situation because they feel like they should have growth and expansion in a relationship in a connection for some of you uh uh for some of you i feel one of you is not ready for commitment or marriage if you guys are already married one of you is not ready to have some kind of you know uh, moving in uh, moving to the another level in the situation for example having kids or something there's some kind of blockages in growth and expansion of the situation that's why someone is trying to be silent with you trying to figure out a way to come out of the situation and uh, surrender to the divine right now this person is feeling like oh let's go with the flow and let's see where things are going okay keeping themselves uh, silent most of the time or uh, a little bit isolated from the situation let's see uh, what are their intentions for the situation virgo we have eight of cups in reverse the high priestess and the queen of pentacles bottom of the deck is the seven of pentacles so this person doesn't want to let it go this person doesn't want to let like uh, let go of this situation let go of you or this connection or relationship uh, from their life but they want to think about it uh, very logically okay they want to make things right set things right between you and them they want a stable kind of relationship a very mature and grounded kind of energy in the situation okay they want you also to understand uh, the things that you are doing in the situation that are not good according to them okay so they need you to understand what are the flaws what are the trigger points what are the things that are not working out in the situation and what you guys can do about it as a as a team okay they don't want to let it go they don't want to slip it away from their hands because this is something that they really care about it that's why they are working on it like even if they are silent they are pl like planning they are working on it energetically okay and they want to reevaluate the situation okay and understand what you guys can change about the situation to make it work out this is what they want their intention is very good in the situation to set things right to make things right with you and then go ahead with mature and practical and grounded kind of energies let's see what's coming towards in the next 72 hours mm hmm Okay, got it. We have the Ace of Swords and the Five of Pentacles and the Moon card. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords. Okay, see, uh, hmm. I do see both of you on the physical level. You guys are going to start a connection, restart a connection all over again. And according to you, you guys are very clear what do you want and what you don't want in the situation. But I think uh, from like uh, from inside, like from the soul level, I do see lots of left out kind of energy, feeling lonely and sad and depressed kind of energy. Um, constantly thinking negative about the situation constantly thinking okay this person is going to leave me and they are not going to be with me no matter what i do no matter how much hard i try to make things work out uh, i think both of you are mutually creating this kind of co-creating this kind of energy of uh, uh, feeling left out and feeling wow feeling like very sad and depressed about it see uh, no matter how hard you guys are trying to think positive about the situation the negative things are coming up popping up again and again and they are coming up because they need to be released and healed completely then only it is going to pass away it's not uh, something that like okay you are going to ignore it and it's going to go away like that no 
there is something that's popping up in this connection again and again especially for you virgo that needs to be released completely you need to understand what that one thing is so i do see lots of stressful kind of energy in the situation i'm going to be honest with you i do see that you will not be able to sleep at night thinking about the situation trying to find out a solution to the situation on the physical level you are letting it go going with the flow but on the mental level and emotional level you are like okay i cannot find a solution what should i do i think you should give it a uh, like uh, at least for the time being for at least 7 uh, to 8 days just just don't do anything okay just try to go with the flow and try to figure out a way to keep yourself calm and in a peaceful uh, energy this is what you should do at least for the like other 7 8 days meditate focus and release something that you are holding on to like very tightly and that something is the subconscious fear of not being enough okay that is the thing Let's see what is the guidance for you people in the situation, Virgo. Okay, gotcha. Let's see what's happening. What is the guidance here? We have the Page of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. The guidance here is. before starting any new chapter of your life especially in your love life you have to be very very clear about what exactly you want in your love life and what exactly you don't want okay so if you want to go ahead with a new person also there there needs to be a very like prop like a uh, uh, like there needs to be a proper clarity kind of energy where, where you are on this path of okay i know what i want and this is the path that i am going to follow no matter what's coming in like uh, in front of me i'm going to go beyond this energy and focus on the thing that i really want hmm? so clarity is the foremost thing most important thing here that you need to have in your relationship area and then uh, before starting anything with anyone you need to understand what you have to do from your side what what is the right step to take okay wow don't take any kind of decision in uh, like because you are temporarily out of uh, like order in your life or out of uh, um, i'm not getting the exact word here but there's something out of balance yeah you are feeling out of balance in your life and uh, you are in this energy of okay i have to do something very quickly else i am uh, going to miss out something you are having uh, like big form right now so it's it's just a phase it will pass away but just uh, stay to try to stay calm and peaceful and your answers will start coming to you just at the right time so yep thank you so much for tuning in vago i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste